Hello everyone, in this tutorial we're gonna learn how to make this effect an effect house using snapshot and visual scripting. My name is Tariq and today we're going to learn how can we make a snapshot effect in effect house. So I just created a simple tutorial here, or sorry, a template for you guys to use and continue watching this tutorial. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you quickly what do I have here in my Hirashi and effect house. So we have the first canvas, which is cam. So on this cam, I have four different cams, the same render, um, but I just applied the camera texture so I can have four splitted cams. I'm gonna change the color to show you what I did here. This is the first one, and this is gonna be the second one. And it's gonna be four different cameras split. But you see, my phases is still here. But how, how did I did this? So I'm gonna back, could make it to a different color over here. Um, put this one back. So what I did is uh, I use advanced settings uh, from here and I just split, uh, make the filled range 25, 25, 25, 25. And I changed the start point. The first one start from zero and the second one 25, as you can see here, then 50, then 75. So we finished from the cam. Let's go for the lines. So I just add some lines to show you where did I split the screens. We're gonna keep this with the effect. And I just have here some emojis so we can make snapshot uh, to follow this kind of emojis so we can get the shot. I'm gonna turn this off. I'm gonna show you countdown one. So I make three different, oh sorry, four different textures, which is countdown. So it's gonna be, um, let me show you. It's gonna be three, uh, excuse me, three, then two, then one, then zero. Then we have a flash over here to take a shot. And then it's going to take your shot by by yourself following this kind of emoji. This is the first one. And the line is going to be here. So the shots, the first shot is going to be taken here, the second one here, third, fourth. So this is the choice going to be. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna leave this countdown for you here. It's gonna be with the template, so I didn't. You don't need to worry about this. I'm gonna show you how we did this. So let's go ahead and get started um, with visual scripting. It's very easy, very simple. It's just simple notes. So I'm gonna go ahead with start, and then uh, wait for a second. I just wanted to wait for one one second before we get started. Then we're gonna get set visibility on. This is going to be for countdown number one, number three here, get it, get three, okay. Then we're going to link it here, wait for uh, one second. We're going to say set visibility for number three and wait uh, for one second. Then set visibility, um, sorry, set visibility off. Or number three as well so here what did I tell the program uh, when when it started wait for one second don't do anything then after one second I wanted to set visibility for the the texture number three over here for one second and after one second turn it off so as you can see here when I start three it's gonna show then it's gonna turn it off so after this we're gonna move it again then wait for one more second like this and um, set visibility on, I'm gonna duplicate this, um, for number two. So after we do the first process for the first one, you're gonna just need to copy and paste and that's it. Okay, I'm gonna keep this on, number two, then wait for one second, change the second here to one, then set visibility off, and link to again. So as you can see here, we have uh, three, then two, then one, okay? So let's continue doing until one and zero, and that's it, we're gonna finish the tutorial. It's not gonna take longer. Okay, so set visibility, sorry, you need to just keep, wait for a second again. So we can give uh, between them a second, then set visibility on, then wait for a second. Um, one like this so this off on keep this on 
then set visibility off. So I'm gonna get number, we finish with two, I'm gonna get number one over here. Target, target. Okay, then the last one, wait for seconds, one second, then set visibility on. Wait for one second. Then set visibility off, which is the last one for the countdown. Okay. Okay, now I'm gonna link number zero over here like this. So the process is very simple. So three, two, wait for one second, one, wait for one more second, zero, and then how now we need to make it to take the shot. So let me show you the countdown how you make it here. So I'm gonna put the line on, it's, it's on, okay. So as you can see here, I, I, I move all of them like here, and this is the countdown number one, and this is number two. This is the second one for the second camera. So I just copy and paste one, two, three, four, okay. Let's go and turn them off. Okay, but you need to keep the canvas on, okay? So now we, we finish from the countdown. After the countdown, I need um, to add a flash. So a flash, which is to take a shot. I have the first flash like this. It's also, um, I just fill the range and do the same thing for the camera's canvas. And this is the second flash gonna be here, third and fourth as well. So let's go ahead and do, um, Set visibility on, I guess, yeah. For the flush, like this. This is the first one. And then I'm gonna make, um, wait for 0 0.1 second. And then set visibility on. And now we're gonna add the snapshot, okay? Snapshot, like this. So in this snapshot, we need to add um, the camera texture, which is the cam here, and we need to get the, the camera render, okay? So, yeah, so this turn, turn on, then turned off, okay. So let's go to the original camera over here and get the render texture, get render texture, and link it to the snapshot here, to the camera texture, and then we go to cam, we get, we'll pick number one, Texture, set texture, and then link it to the set and the value over here. So now let's try it. Okay, so I need to link the flash here to turn it off as well. So here it says uh, turn on the flash and after 0 0.1 second turn off the flash so you can see like it's a flash. Okay, so this is the first shot. We finish from the first one. So if you want to go to the second, third, fourth, we can, uh, we're gonna just copy and paste all of these and that's it. Let me gonna show you here. But let me first add um, a sound because I have an audio here. Let me, just like a shoot sound like this. Okay, how can we add this? I'm gonna go ahead and just link it. Audio, let's see. Audio player controller. And then I'm gonna get the audio from here. Um, audio player, get audio player, and then link it here. And then play. Wait for seconds. For this audio, I'm gonna just make the first one. I'm gonna show you the second one because I tried before to make it linked with the visual scripting with these ones, but it didn't work with me. I don't know if it's a bug or not, but I will show you guys. So let's go ahead now and try. So let me count this, it starts from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, then almost 9. So at the second 9, I need the snapshot to be played and then finish, do once, just do it once, and then with the start. Let's test this. So this I told the, the visual scripting after just wait nine seconds until the this one sh showed. Then we take the shot. I think we just move more. 
maybe seven, oh, sorry, oh, what I did here, seven seconds probably. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, almost seven. Yeah, so just seven seconds. So this is the first one. How can we make the second one? The second one is very simple. Just copy and paste all of these, okay? And move it here. So what are we going to replace, which is just go to countdown two, and you see number three? Three, it says one, so this is the first one. Remove this one and go to three, two, and bring it over here, and link it to the first one and the second one, like this. And then number two, which it says two, one, we need two, two right now, like this. Get this one and remove this. Add it like this. Then we go to the second one, which is one one. We need it to be one two. Like this. And this is the last one, which is zero. But it's not the last one. We need to replace the flash as well. I will show you. Here and here. So we go to the flash, says one flash, we need to be number two flash. So because it's in different range in the screen. I remove this one <clears throat> and then add this one. <clears throat> and then we need to change the camera over here from one to two as well. Because we need to take the shot from there. Oops, sorry. Let's go to the texture, set texture for number two. Just say set or get. Okay, and so I'm gonna link it here. And now let's test it the second one. But like the problem, we don't want this to work together, right? So I'm gonna make the start to be after eight seconds. So after eight seconds, after taking the shot, this is gonna start after this one. So this one start after one second from recording, then we have the, the sound finish on seven. Then after seven finish, we're gonna start and, uh, at eight, eight seconds, okay? So as you can see here, we just finished the first and the second one. Let's just add the sound for the second one as well. Copy this and let's move it here. And we can make this one maybe 14, I guess. It's the same process, 714. So let's test now the first one and the second one with the sound. Let's test the second one. Okay, perfect. So you see the process is very simple and we can make like, um, we can make, I think we can link this with a sequence. We can try, but like, let me first the let me finish the the third and the fourth and I will continue the video. I will just speed it up. Okay, guys, this is so. So the meaning of this story is like this: is the first emoji I need to do the same as this emoji, and I have three seconds countdown. So like this. And I need to do like the same thing, but like when I have my phone, it's going to be obvious different. So something like this. So I know how to do this emoji. And then the last one. Okay, so this is the meaning of this tutorial. So it's going to be a part two of this tutorial, but guys, I'm not going to include the visual scripting for you. I'm just going to include the whole uh, template that you just saw. You have, you're going to have all of these here, but you're not going to have the visual scripting because everyone knows in my channel that I do this because I just want everyone to learn about visual scripting and learn about Effect House. But if I just give you the template, you, you won't be able to replace what I have in this template. But like if you tried and test everything yourself over here, you can make your own effect and you can make different one using this template. So I hope you guys understand what I'm saying here and you don't get angry about it. So all my subscribers knows that you just watch and follow my tutorials. Just watch second by second so you can understand how this works. 
So it's pretty simple. I'm gonna just walk through it again. So you can just see here um, when the when the effect starts. Wait for one second, and then I want it to set visibility for the first uh, number three, and then wait one more second and turn it off. Wait one more second after you turn it off. Turn on number two, and then wait one more second, and like this. So this is just a countdown, and once we finish, we have the flash texture. It's like it's just a white image, and I just tell uh, Visual Script to make it 0 0.1, so you can see it as flashing. Okay, and the same thing. Turn it on, and then after 0 0.1, just turn turn the flash off, and then take the picture with snapshot. So this is how simple this tutorial is. So in the next part is going to be a different video, separated video. It's going to have the animation and how to make animation with this effect. Thank you everyone for watching. See you next part.